Oh, sure. Yeah. I just can't get the wrist pin. Barney's like. Barney's is that a beer? Like 17, 17 Here you go. inch socket. Lovely. Drink up. So I never gave you anything. Yeah, hang on, man. Is it's it like solvent? Time. It is. It's solvent, right? That's what we're going to measure. Any fluid is a good fluid. You can use beer if you wanted. I don't have any beer, so it's solvent. Nice. Scooby. You didn't find the stuff yet? I I wish I knew where it was. What were you looking at? Not there. Oh, why not? Oh, that's where you got it, yeah. Whatever. And does this need to be level? Is this, is this a flathead? It is not a flathead. That almost looks like uh, it'd bolt right up where my timing cover goes, though. Right, right on the nose cone. It's the same shape. All right. I think you're right. Just scratched it. It's not flat. Look at that. Look at grease on me. How'd that happen? It's not right. Damn. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Gelatin. Jeez, that must be. That's Cherry champion, flare. Champions grease. Champions grease. I think this is the crap that was in the back that we were supposed to use up that never got used up. Now don't put it in the combustion chamber that affects the number. Now what are we doing here? We're uh, measuring the volume of the combustion chamber what? so we can ultimately determine what the compression ratio will be with the pistons that we're looking at. And why do you care? Uh, to make this a streetable bike where I'm not at, you know, oh. 11 and a half to one and blowing head gaskets every 2,000 miles. You got that much out of last time? Oh, we have no idea. No speedo. What's that? No speedo. Uh, no light behind the speedo. Oh, so it was nighttime driving. Most of it. Yeah. I can see that'd be a problem. Okay, what's the grease doing? Uh, it's creating a seal. Oh, okay. So when we put in a lighter fluid that shouldn't pass by that grease, as long as that's a flat surface. It shouldn't leak past the valves either? Oh, it will definitely not leak past the valves. Is that sure? I'm 100% certain of that. 100%? <laughs> yeah, as of uh, today, no doubt in my mind. I actually sat at an angle and filled it with uh, with cleaner and let it soak overnight to just clean up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not even the slightest hint. <laughs> it's a burette. Says the man with a degree in some sort of science. <laughs> Not a smoking uh, pot thing. Smo it may be smoking pot, pot thing. thing. Could be. Uh, I tried. I tried once out of one of those. Things. <laughs> it worked. Smoked a bunch of plastic. <laughs> yeah. The rest is history. No, we have the glass. <laughs> nice. The rest is history. Is the glass? Don't put that in your nose. God forbid. No, it's a cell. Yeah. <laughs> My day's been ruined. Yeah. Had a plan. When it gets full, quit putting it in. Oh. That's a good tip. Free. <laughs> Free tip. Oh, geez, you want too much. How much is in there? Full. Do we have the temperature correction in here? Mm, probably not. Oh, is that going to be a comment? Is what temperature? We have to take the what temperature in, in, in count? Uh, because we went over, it's probably 55 milliliters. Okay, so I got to open it up a little bit. Where's the zero at? Right here. Right down there. There, you got a finger back, I can see the line now. Stop. I'm above the line. I'm splitting that line. There, where's it at? Fuck, let me see if I can. Background helps. Uh, oh, it's it's zooming in. That's zero. Zero. That's good. Oh, there. That's oh, banging. There you go. Again, the scientist comes to the rescue. Yeah. This is how we used to do it in the lab. <laughs> this is how, the no guy, way. So the white guy works better than the brown guy for for the looking at the back. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do have a spark plug in there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have a plug in the hole? <laughs> Anybody want to uh, want to get a pool going on what this is going to come up at? I'm going to say seventy. Is it going to take the whole one hundred or not? He says at 70, let's go. Of course, this is only 50, so. One dollar. <laughs> It'll take all of this. Oh, shit. Now make sure you shut it off and you get to the bottom. Okay, is that a zero now? We lost our background picture here. Let me use a black. How's that? 
not great. <laughs> yeah, not great. Exactly. The opposite. So did so not work. Even Where the more way? brilliant. Where'd yeah. That go? Right. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Yep. Read at the bottom of the meniscus. It's fifty. Yeah, well, nobody knows how fucking the meniscus is. <laughs> yeah. So is that fifty on the nose or fifty and a quarter? <sighs> now we're splitting hairs. Hey, no, milliliters. Milliliters. <laughs> Let's be clear. Let's be clear. It's metric. Sorry. We're splitting the meniscus. Millimeters are the same as milliliters are the same as cubic centimeters. Oh. Stupid metric crap. Yeah. Everything's divided by 10 like your money is. <laughs> I can tell you've never been married. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we at here? Uh, we're, we went five over again. I'm using my finger. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it's five over. My finger's still in front of it, it doesn't matter. Okay, we could call that one zero. Uh, yes, zero. Give or take the molluscus. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's not going to take all of this. No, I called it at 70. What do you think? 80. Might as well. I think it's dropping quickly. Oh, shit. Keep her past the 70. Yep. Well, we're coming up quick, though. Okay, what do you got? Looks like it's 31 and change. Another extra one or one and a half. To that, I mean, it's yeah. 81 cc's. 31 and a half? 31, yeah. 81 and a half cc. Woo! I would guess 80, and that's just from complete wild guess because I have no education in how big a cylinder is. We already know you're not educated. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's, just... that's why the cameras are used. Videos are so bad. Just reminds me I gotta do something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Keenan. You know, I'm always <laughs> totally enjoy. It's about how fast it goes out, too. Yeah. <laughs> and so now you just take this, what we recorded here, and then you go to your computer and type in some numbers. Now what you do is you don't break this. Well, don't let the we'll leave freaking the right so you don't do it. Now you can air gun fall on it. And be all right. But even this, I could just put it back in the box. No, I gotta grip dry it first. Oh yeah, now I have to go over here. <clears throat> Get rid of all this crap that's opened up. Yeah, check that out, man. My first ring ripper. Okay, right there. we want to go into our engine analyzer the pro. Right there. You weld it up? <clears throat> Solder. I think the combustion chamber is smaller than my carburetor velocity stack was, is what I think. Damn, still running Windows 95? Still works. Pretty good. Yeah. Even with all of ours, it still works. Okay, what's your short block spec, sir? Sir? <laughs> what's the question? What's your bore? Uh, what is my bore? It's stock. Stock? What size is stock? It's at three and a half inches. What's the, what's the, what is stock bore? Stock bore is 3.5. No. 3.49. No. That's what you or typed in. Or is it three and five eighths? 3.98. Two thou under. What's your stroke? Also stock. Stock what, 80? Yeah, 80 inch. Stock 74? Stock, stock 61? Stock 80 inch Evo. Yeah. Is four it four and, and five four. eighths? You got two cylinders? Four yep. and two, yeah, four and two point two five, so four and a quarter. So it comes out at 81.69 cubic inches. Six nine will make you famous. Pretty close. Oh, I'm rounding that full on up to 82. <laughs> I'm an 82 cubic inch. You're going to round it? I thought you had like a 120 no. thing. So 40.84 inches per cylinder. It'd be 669.4 seat. That's bigger than my race bike. I'm only 640. <laughs> well. Okay, so you good with that number? Good. What's your head specs? Which specs from my heads? The uh, intake and exhaust valves? What do we need? The compression ratio. I think I'm in the wrong screen. Let me go back to this one. You want to stand up there? 
You can see. So you have to figure out what it is in Q. <clears throat> it is not an SNS 126 with flat top pistons. It's going to be in here. Somewhere's compression. Oh, here it is. Compression ratio. I had to figure out where it's 10 to 1, right? You should go calculate that. See this number right here? Mm hmm. Make that 81 and a half. Plus. What's your total CCs? It's a great question. In the head? Yeah. The total 80, CCs? 81.5. 81.5. What's your dome? We don't know yet. What's your gasket thickness? Uh, What's your cylinder clearance? Wait, let's go back to the gasket thickness. Are we going to figure the ring limit clearance? Yes. Yes. Okay. You notice how I keep putting that number up there every time I do something mm -hmm. down there? Probably call a gasket to what? You want to put a gasket in this motor? Yeah, probably point oh. three. Right. So we were at 921 with no gaskets. So you want to actually run a gasket? Yeah, I'm going to have to run a gasket. I don't run gaskets on my bike. They don't blow. Exactly. That is one way to not blow gaskets. Don't use them. Yeah, that works. Jeez. Spray paint? So gasket <laughs> thickness is how big? What's it? Point, point 0.43. 0.43? Four three? Four three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Millimeters? Could be. How much head to piston clearance? <clears throat> 40 thou. 40? They go up or down? Clearance 0.04. We're in a solid eight to one motor right now. Now that's not counting the uh, the pockets in the piston. Yeah, that little hint of a dome that's going to come in Which on is, that. You probably got at least two cc's of valve pockets in the motor. That's dome. That'd be negative two. Now we're down to 7.93 to one compression. Assuming everything else is identical. Mm -hmm. Takes up some volume. Well, we don't have a dome in there yet, so right now we, we had a miscalculation on the total. Okay, so you guys are, what is it at now? Well, we have a zero deck piston, you think, so the piston's square over the top of the head gaskets, or the cylinder, so it's zero. And then we have the head gasket, it's 43. I actually put in uh, 40 twice, which kills your compression big time. That was almost half a point. And we have a negative two cc's for the valve pocket. Now, if you want to go to a dome piston, and we're going to call it two cc up, and then we'll go to the other direction, and that's going to add to our compression. It puts it 8.8 .8 to 1 now, if we put the dome to it. So, and that's real world numbers. It's not what we think it is. That's real world. Now, I'm not sure what the dome is with, with the pockets and the dome, you know, cutting the piston. It might be almost equal by the time you're done. Right. Or it might be slightly more if there's only one cc of extra material. And then you go 88, be 8, so that's a tenth of a point. So you gain about a tenth per cc. So you're gaining. Either way, you're under 9 to 1, so it's a very, very straight of a motor, even with yeah. that, even that dome on there. Agreed. So, and your dome is a weird dome, it's like an STD style dome. So. It's, it's even that's not true because you, you go like this, not just straight. So anyway, we cut the piston to fit. You're gonna wind up uh, somewhere between eight, seven, and eight, eight to one with that piston I got. If you go, if we go get the flat top route like we were thinking about going, it'll drop you down to less than that. Where's our dome CC at? Minus two. That'll put you at eight forty-five. Now, if you put a thinner head gasket in there and put the dome in there, so you got the dome in there for two. Put you back up at 88, and you drop your gasket down to a 30 thou instead of a 40. You got 895, which yeah. is still. <clears throat> now, if you take the cylinder and make the piston a, um, a pop up 10 thou, which will give you 30 thou to piston the head clearance, which is runnable, you could lose, uh, you would gain a little more on that. This would drop down to uh, like an 020. That'd put you at 9.1. Still a good streetable number. Agreed. And that would put you at uh, 30 thou piston head clearance. But you'd have to get a thinner, you have to cut the cylinder a little bit, or you have to run a thinner base gasket to get to that. 
It's just a matter of where your piston's at. We don't know where your piston's at right now. It could be zero. It could be popped up a little bit. But if you get your clearances down to 20 thou to 30 thou clearance, it'll run you up to the higher numbers. But yeah, it's not bad. I mean, 901 is still very very streetable. And I'm not even sure if these numbers are right. They don't have the right. Let's see. This is not correct. We got zero deck. We want 30 total clearance. That'd be 0.03 hours off. So that'd be 30 thou piston head clearance. Put you just under nine, 8.95. Assume we got a two cc dome on that piston that's left. Mm -hmm. If that cc is higher than two, let's say it's four, double what we think it is. You're still at one nine fourteen. You can pick up a whole hell of a lot. You picked up a couple more tens. Either way, you're way under 10. So yeah, exactly. You're not even close. So that's if you're pushing everything to the limit, which you aren't doing because you don't have, we don't know where your deck clearance is at. Right. So now you think the cylinder hit, it might be warped a little bit or not? Oh, are you doing new cylinders this time? Yeah, I'm doing uh, new cylinders this time. Yeah, so you have to see where you come in at that. Now you can take the base gas completely out and just put uh, the three bond on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's messy, but you have no gasket. And that'll put the head, that should put the piston above the top. Right. As long as it's not more than 10 above the top, you can run your 40 thou gasket to come up with your 30 total piston head clearance. And then be it. And you'll be at these numbers. Yeah, 9 to 1. But if this goes up to 40, you know, 0 0.04, 0 0.3, which you think your head gasket was, that drops you down under 9. And the dome is more like a 3cc, you're at 8.85. Right. So either way, you're under 9 to 1. So it's just a matter of where you come in on, a, on your numbers. Right. Either way, you're nowhere near 11 to 1 or 10 and a half or any of those other numbers you right. might have been at. So I don't know why you're blowing head gaskets because you don't have, <clears throat> pressure's not there, so. But yeah, that's how I figured it out. It makes it easy. Now the other head, we're assuming it's the same size, so if we want to measure that, we can measure that one too. See what it is. But anyway, that's what you got uh, for a total. If you want to do your, your estimated uh, horsepower, we can do that for nice. whatever, whatever was in there. I'm sure it had some kind of a something in there with oh, two, for, two well, valves, maybe a cam. Yeah, oh yeah, 640. I don't think that's what was in the picture there. But no, that does not look like, I, or my 30 over pistons. I didn't go and look to see what the uh, what it was. It says 111 horsepower, or Ooh, 138 nice. horsepower with whatever combination parts that was. Nice. Uh, it was, it's 126 twin cam. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty good, huh? Do you believe any of those? Nope. Oh, okay. Good. I'm good with that. Yeah, that was a branch head, intake, G-carb, straight pipe, five-speed Sportster cam, 643 zippers. There you go. Put, nice. all that, put all that shit in you, you can make 130 horsepower. There you go. Of course, I don't believe half of that, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> if I could get, like... If you got 100, I think you'd be good. I'd be good with, like, 80 and 80, 80-inch, 80, 80 horsepower. Oh, you, can, you know, that 640, you should be able to get at least 80, jeez. Exactly. That's, I'm happy see, with that. See, I used to get 92 horsepower with their sh shitty-ass cam they had back in the early 90s. Let me see, keeps looking at this.